Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. In today's session, complete RTC section, I will going to I am going to inform you. Okay, I will explain. So, what is the RTC section and why the crystal is used here? So, what is the crystal work here actually? So, what is crystal? What it does? So, those things which practically I will explain you. Okay. So many uh, technicians, uh, your 90% technician won't be knowing about these facts. Okay, those facts I will re uh, reveal these things. Okay, see the crystal. Everyone knows. So it will come sinusoidal wave, and it gives some other, uh, some little bit change in output. Okay, this. If we ask regarding the crystal, so they will tell. This is input and output. So both are different. One is uh, amplitude one, one is normal sinusoidal one, right? What is that crystal? What it does? So this is the answer I am getting everywhere. So and other things they will tell it stores date and time. Time. How it stores? Store means it's a memory, right? So crystal doesn't have memory. Hmm? How it stores actually? And uh, what about passwords? Do you remember? Once you remove the RTC cell, the password you can delete, right? In previous days, in uh, first generation or uh, before that, code to DODL core uh, conditions. Uh, once you remove this RTC cell, so the what are the um, password stored in this memory? It was erasing. Even date and time now also. Hmm? It was uh, it was showing previous one. How it was possible and uh, only the crystal using this crystal how it does means. What is exactly the crystal or the crystal work? I'll come to the point. See, crystal not only do the function, it's a passive component. Okay, crystal is passive components. The crystal work is if you give the voltage so it will vibrate and it will give the opposite voltage it will react that's it it will generate the frequency for frequency but it's a dependent on a uh, it's dependent on a thing what is that see the crystal looks like this hertz crystal in watch you can see right why they will use this crystal in watch okay see the answer is oscillator circuit i will note down clearly not only crystal will work properly so it required oscillator oscillator circuits so what it means oscillator circuits why it's required till now where it was and where it is see in laptop chip level surveys or desktop surveys in motherboard the pch for example i am telling the pch in case of rtc section the pch has oscillator later ic that's called some motorola some uh, number is there that ic it has okay what the function of this is what you put the cell the voltage 3 volts it will accept and it will generate pure sinusoidal wave okay i'll repeat through this cell this ic the oscillator ic is 
receives this voltage and produce the pure sinusoidal voltage sinusoidal wave in ac form and it gives to crystal see this crystal it will give here is the marked one is the input and here is the feedback output okay the marked one i'll repeat marked one is the input and here is the feedback output okay some people some uh, youtuber told the famous youtuber told this one is the output and here is the input in which manner that i don't know but generally i am telling you the crystal receives input from the oscillator okay i'll repeat the crystal receives input from the oscillator and gives the appropriate voltage ampli amplified voltage like this not writing properly i'll write down and i'll inform you once again i'll show you see for example here is the sinusoidal wave see my handwriting is very wrong okay it gives the opposite side see just opposite of this it will cut in positive only its charge completely and again for discharging time here it will be more and here it will be less and again it will charge properly and here it will be more and here it will be less so it means if you combine this so it will come like this it will start here it will start down and it will charge and discharge it will come this side and it will come more charge is charge like this okay if we take it as a three part how it looks like is the first wave charging point will be the capacitor part okay the second second wave will come no down okay once again i will show you see observe carefully if it start from here okay from here it will come down like this and again if we take this example okay here till here it's a capacitor part here to here here to here it's a inductor part and again the capacitor part stimulant see here to here it's inductor part again it's a capacitor part so it's divided as a c l c like this the wave form here half charge is the capacitor and inductor will be like this here is the resistance one and again it will increase it's a capacitor part and after that it's a inductor part here it's a bubble will be there bubble in a sense little bit high will be there due to inductor so you are unable to understand i think so but practically i will show the wave form in dso okay so then you come to know so generally what i mean to say is the crystal crystal is active comp sorry is the positive components and oscillator circuit is so oscillator ic is active components the merge of these two is called oscillator not only oscillator circuit its merge of these two circuit is called oscillator circuits in some conditions it will be external and in some uh, conditions it will be internal both will be internal okay in this see what you are seeing here so here is the crystal crystal is external part this is external part okay internally the pch has motorola ic that is oscillator ic what it does it stores it has a inbuilt ram it has inbuilt ram it has 256 bit storage device 
some storage device okay due to this the password password what you type that one it will store till what the cell supply will be there no till the continuous cell supply will be there till the time it will store the password once this dried out then it will erase because it's a ram not rom okay so i'll repeat once again crystal clear it's very crystal clear answer is crystal will be given as external part in some cases it will be in internal part but the oscillator ic circuit will be there no that one will be the internal part of the pch so what it does it gives sinusoidal waveform to the crystal and crystal what it does it gives the appropriate feedback circuit to the motherboard okay now i'll come to the part of crystal why i told it's a clc form it will produce because the crystal what you are seeing the crystal is nothing but c l r circuit it's connected to each other here is the input and here is the output again in middle capacitor will be connected see the crystal part will be like this internal part what you are seeing this this part will be like this the capacitor the waveform first i told you the waveform will come like this okay when the input goes down this is the input and this one is the output see once it's complete so again it will charge right it's a positively it will charge then it will decrease it goes to the inductor so in inductor it will little bit it boost and it gives the waveform like this and here is the r resistor so it will disconnect the waveform some cut frequency will be there it will cut and again the capacitor it will come through this and capacitor start working the cycles will continue the opposite direction the output you will get the opposite direction of the input that i mean to say and little bit changes you will get because first capacitor time delay will be there no due to the time delay it will little bit amplitude it will take it will cut the minus part and it will amplitude it will take and second part the inductor it gives to the inductor as input the inductor it will boost little bit it will boost while discharging and then it gives to the uh, resistance when resistor require I mean reduce this input and it will uh, cut the voltage because it's resistor right so it uh, some resistance uh, will be there and again the process will start with the opposite direction of the cycle okay now i am going to show you in the dso one side input side what waveform you will get and output side what waveform you will get okay so we'll do the practical section now i have connected dso so here is the axis it's a channel 1 and 2 see i'll show you this is a 2 okay and this one is the 1 this is the crystal okay this one is input side and that one is output side now you observe the dso so first i will uh, put the channel 1 to the input the sinusoidal waves see here is the point below that some waveform is coming in negative mode right so till here it's coming hmm here is the axis see the line this is the line okay in below the pure sinusoidal waves is generating in negative manner also right little bit negative part is there now what i am going to do is in channel b the output side i'll put see both so now i'll go for a trigger mode see i have hold in one hand hmm 
both two channel I hold in one hand. Here I am going to show you. See the input section. See here the input section of this. This is the axis. So input has started here, but output has started from here. See input where it started. It's here. Okay. But output you see the opposite direction. Again it came down, little bit cut, and again up, little bit come. Uh, uh, it came down and here it's a little bit curve is there. You can observe this curve. See, up. This is due to L circuit, inductor circuit, and again it's a capacitor circuit. See when the amplitude goes down, it will discharge right. from capacitor to here it will come output here is the input of the capacitor and here the ac it what is that it passes right bypass so here is the bypass time here is the bypass time here is the charging time when it enters this sinusoidal wave and here it's it will discharge right so again it will discharge when it will start charging that time it will discharge because it's a positive side it started right so then when it will charge so the time it will discharge and given to feedback to the inductor inductor will induced little bit and see some curve has given here see induced voltage has given here and here due to the resistor it got cut this much and again this one started so here is the conclusion if you check input and output input always will be the pure sinusoidal wave output will be the feedback mode okay amplitude feedback mode little bit high you will get compared to this one and bottom portion will be cut okay this is the fact about the crystal crystal is a not a single circuit it's a positive circuit oscillator is the active circuit oscillator ic not oscillator oscillator ic is a positive circuit it provides the sinusoidal waves okay it provides the sinusoidal wave to crystal crystal gives the output like this this is crystal is the r lc circuit okay the appropriate output you will get now is it clear okay thank you thank you very much